Okay, I'm about a month into my system here. And uh, I got Clara down here. Say hi, Clara. Hi. It's my five-year-old daughter. What are you eating there, Clara? What? What are you eating? Lettuce. When was the first time you ever had lettuce? <laughs> so she uh, is kind of a picky eater, but since we started growing our own lettuce, uh, she wanted to try a taste of it. And how does it how does the lettuce taste, Clara? Mm, I don't really like it. You really like it? I don't really like it. That's what I said. Okay. Okay. So she really likes it now. But uh, these are probably four or five weeks old. These lettuces here. We've been harvesting them. Last couple of days, finally started to eat our first crop, and uh, it's uh, very, very delicious. Probably some of the best lettuce we've ever had, and it's super clean. Don't even have to wash it. No pesticides or herbicides or insecticides. I don't even know if herbicides is a word, but anyhow, we uh, built this system first, and then uh, transplanted all our plants over to here. We incubated some new plants, started some new seeds, and then built this system, and just transplanted these over. And the uh, squash and zucchini, or, excuse me, the cucumbers and zucchini just took off, man. And uh, those are maybe about four weeks old as well. And just a few days ago, we built this trellis system that allows us to train the vines to come up and latch on and as you can see here there's a, a feeler that grabbed onto that and that's going to take hold there's a feeler that just caught there too and that's going to take hold feeler that came up over here take hold and uh, yeah so we got peppers here and we just used uh, dry erase, dry erasers, dry eraser uh, markers to just label everything. See, we got basil here, seven basils, sweet green mix. <laughs> we got some kale. That's not looking so good, but uh, we just replanted some new here, and then uh, some more lettuce seeds. We just started a couple days ago, and they're starting to bud up. So this. Uh, is a pretty cool system. We have two systems in one. The uh, first system here is for leafy greens and things like that. Yeah, we'll talk about the strawberries in a second. This is for leafy greens and um, uh, kale, oregano, herbs, spices, um, lettuce. Uh, we're gonna try some asparagus and broccoli and cabbage and things like that. Things that don't bloom or flower. And the reason why we do two systems here is this system has a lower nutrients. It'll, it'll, it needs lower nutrient levels to uh, thrive and less light to thrive. So the lights are a little bit less expensive. Uh, these are just uh, fluorescent lights and uh, they're grow lights. I think these are about 260 or $270 each. We have two of them. And uh, that's why we built this system. And then this system here is for, it's the same setup, it's the same reservoirs, the same tubes, uh, same rocks, lava rocks and everything. But this is for peppers, tomatoes, strawberries, zucchini, squash, eggplant, things like that. Again, all marked right here um, in the blue marker. But um, this, these require higher nutrient levels when they start uh, flowering and blooming. And um, then uh, uh, it's higher nutrient levels and then also higher uh, full spectrum lights, which have the LEC sun system lights. Um, there's ceramic bulbs. And Claire is going to go ahead and uh, take a leaf of lettuce. You got it, Clara? Mm -hmm. All right. And then she's going to eat it. She. That's so awesome because she's pretty picky and she wouldn't have eaten lettuce before. 
So it's cool that we're getting our kids to eat healthy. So Twinkies and stuff like that. But this ceramic lights uh, has a full spectrum light. And it's really cool too because it's not that hot. My hand's right underneath the bulb. And I can stay here for a long time. It doesn't get that hot. So the basement doesn't get very hot from these guys. There are 1,000 watts of output with uh, 315 watts of usage. I got two of them. They're about 600 bucks each. And uh, this is the system for the strawberries, the eggplant, squash, zucchinis, peppers, things like that, and tomatoes. Um, and this netting that I got on top of here, it's pretty cool. Just put this up uh, just a few days ago, actually. And so the way the system works, both systems here, I'm going to turn off this fan just in case. It's, uh, there we go. This is the reservoir, and it's a 13 gallon reservoir. I probably need a bigger reservoir here because I had to daisy chain it with a smaller five gallon bucket because I need more water in the system. And the pump's in here. And uh, the water drains from here. And it's really cool because this elbow here actually regulates how high the water level is actually in the tubes. So if I turn this up a little bit, the water level Will rise if I turn this down the water will level will go down so I was able to regulate this to uh, get the water levels where I needed to be so that when the cups are in that just the bottom of it gets wet and so pumps along this here this small uh, half inch pipe and then this manifold we built allows us to uh, tweak the amount of water that goes into each tube um, I guess calibrate would probably be the better word and uh, if we have these on full blast well then the one down here wouldn't get any water in it so we turn the pump up about halfway in, instead of full blast or or low high or low we put it about halfway and then we adjusted these took about 10 minutes to calibrate it make sure that uh, there's enough water and what's really cool I don't know if you'll be able to see this but you see all the bubbles coming out it really makes a lot of bubbles and oxygenates the water so that I know that I'm getting plenty of water, I mean plenty of oxygen into the roots. And see if I can pull up a root system here. Yeah, the, the, isn't that cool? Yeah, it's super cool. So they're absolutely loving it here. Got a huge root mass. And uh, all the lettuces are like that. In fact, uh, over on that system, the uh, squash and cucumbers, or zucchini and cucumbers, uh, the root mass is absolutely huge and just absolutely loving it. So, And all these lettuces are the same. I mean, that's just wonderful, healthy white roots that uh, is going to allow us to never have to buy lettuce again, pretty much. And we're always going to be starting lettuce at various times. And uh, we've already harvested these lettuces over the last couple days, and there's just uh, 10 plants here, or 10 cups, a couple different lettuces in each one. But we've been trimming it up. You can see this one got trimmed pretty well, but in a couple days it'll be ready for us to trim again. So we figure every time we do a small little harvest, we're saving about two, two or three dollars in lettuce that we won't have to buy. So it'll probably take about eh, maybe 10 years for us to recoup our costs at this rate. Uh, but once we start getting all the strawberries and the peppers and eggplant and squash and zucchinis and all the other types of things that we're trying to grow, um, hopefully I think we figured out maybe in about a year to a year and a half we'll recoup our costs and then, um, but the whole point was to eat healthier to grow our own food, or a lot of our own food. Obviously we can't just live off of this, but uh, it was, the point was to cut down on um, chemicals that they put on produce, to eat healthy, to learn how to do it first of all, and for us to have kind of a little hobby. We come down here every day and just check on things. And it's a fun hobby because we don't have to do, we don't have to get a shovel out and dig anything. We don't have to weed uh, the plants. We don't have to water the plants. We don't, you know, we use maybe two to three gallons every couple days to fill up the system. Um, 
instead of keeping the hose on for a couple hours and you know wasting a bunch of water so we were able to figure out how to do it from YouTube videos um, I was just glued on YouTube for about two months straight trying to figure out what kind of system I wanted to do I wanted to do an outdoor system and actually do aquaponics this is a hydroponic system um, aquaponics is when you introduce fish to the system and you grow fish along with um, your plants but uh, I wanted to do it outside and it would have meant that I would have had to bought a greenhouse and do all that kind of stuff too and it would have been more expensive and I wanted to figure out how to do it before I really invest all that kind of money into it um, first of all make sure that I like it make sure that I can do it and I'm successful at it and this accomplished that it, as you can see the plants are healthy there's they're plentiful and we enjoy doing this I've made all my mistakes and I know what to do differently next time um, and I guess in other videos I'll post and show you a little bit more about the components and show you what I did and how I did it um, if you'd like it's pretty pretty simple uh, I know I saved a lot of money by doing it myself instead of buying a kit because um, kits out there that are only about six feet long which go from uh, about my hand to the end here just two rows will cost maybe four hundred dollars and I figured I have about seven times the grow area and it probably cost me maybe eight or nine hundred dollars just for the tubes and uh, all the pumps and the systems and things like that I have a lot more money invested into it with the lights obviously um, and all the nutrients and the testers and all that kind of stuff but uh, hold on one second Clara but uh, this has been a wonderful hobby it's been a great learning experience it's been really fun to put together and now we're at the point where we're starting to see the fruits of our labor and getting some harvest so um, yeah this has been a lot of fun if you have any questions or comments, please let me know uh, what you think. It's been uh, a lot of fun to do, and I figured I'd post this on YouTube because I learned everything about this from other YouTubers, and so I figured it'd be good if I could maybe share some of the mistakes or the good stuff that I did with other people uh, so that maybe if they want to do it, they might learn something from this video. So uh, thanks for watching, and please... Uh, leave any comments, questions, or suggestions in the, in the comments box. Um, I'd love to see what you guys think. Take care.